the amateur astronomer images that we uh, were mm-hmm. able to watch in recent days were far more informative uh, and they uh, are the instruments that took them cost uh, thousands of dollars not a uh, billion dollars like the nasa instruments so uh, I, you know, I, I would argue that it was mostly um, a, a, a discussion by NASA officials about what they expected this object to be, but not uh, uh, what the object really is. And uh, as Sherlock Holmes uh, said, uh, an obvious fact is uh, uh, very deceptive. When NASA finally released the complete image gallery of 3i Atlas, I was immediately struck by the profound implications of the data. For the first time in recorded history, 15 distinct spacecraft, spanning from Mars orbiters to deep space probes like Hubble, Webb, Lucy, and even Psyche, simultaneously focused their cameras on a single interstellar visitor. I have spent years studying the patterns and signatures of transient cosmic objects, and in my entire scientific career, I have never seen a mobilization of this scale. Not for Aumuamua, not for Comet Borisov, not for any asteroid, dwarf planet, or mystery signal drifting through the heliosphere. NASA did something unprecedented, and the reason becomes clearer the farther you look into the gallery. The most startling realization is that every single image taken from every single angle reveals something different. Not aesthetic differences, fundamental differences, differences in brightness, structural silhouette, tail direction, coma thickness, thermal glow, envelope symmetry, and even the way light scatters off the dust. It is as if 3i Atlas is not a static object traveling through space, but a dynamic one, revealing a different piece of its internal machinery every time sunlight strikes a new hemisphere. No local comet behaves this way. No comet in the catalog of over 4,000 observed to date has displayed such layered, contradictory, evolving behavior. In scientific terms, This is the most dangerous type of discovery, the type that does not fit any model, any classification, or any comforting expectation we have built over centuries of observational astronomy. When NASA commits 15 missions, including rovers, infrared telescopes, ultraviolet monitors, solar observatories, navigation probes, and deep space imagers, it is not curiosity. It is not routine. It is a signal. A signal that the object is not just interesting, it is potentially transformative. Missions like MAVEN, PUNCH, LRO, MRO, SOHO, WEB, Hubble, Lucy, and Psyche were never designed to cooperate on a single target. They were built for specialized tasks across the inner and outer solar system. Yet here they were, intersecting their schedules in a coordinated ballet, each capturing a different wavelength, a different angle, a different slice of the mystery. Hubble's high-resolution morphology, Webb's molecular and infrared chemistry, Maven's ultraviolet hydrogen maps, MRO's dust shell imaging, Lucy's phase-angle brightness curves, Psyche's trajectory deviation analysis. It is the kind of data collection you normally see in a billion-dollar flagship mission dedicated to a single target for 10 years. But this time, the target was an object hurtling through the solar system on a -a once-in-a-lifetime trajectory and the window was closing fast. And the deeper I went into the gallery, the more the pieces refused to fit into traditional comet science. Our local comets behave predictably, shedding dust in ragged bursts, forming long sunward tails, venting through chaotic jets, revealing porous, fragile nuclei. 3i Atlas behaved like none of them. It shifted its tail direction. It expanded and contracted its coma irregularly. Its dust envelope was thicker than expected and strangely symmetrical. The more we looked, the more unusual it became. When I first saw Hubble's image, I immediately understood why NASA's internal channels erupted in alarm. The nucleus did not display the typical triangular tail. Instead, it appeared wrapped in a smooth, bluish-green cocoon, an almost organic symmetry, as though the dust and gas were not escaping freely but were being held in a structured envelope. It looked like a protective shell, intact, stable, resisting solar heating far longer than expected. Natural comets eject material unevenly, violently. But 3i Atlas released dust in an unbelievably uniform, controlled manner, as if governed by internal mechanisms buried deep within its crust. This single Hubble image meant something astonishing. The nucleus remained, 
Intact near Mars's orbital distance, the outgassing was extremely smooth. The cocoon hinted at deep subsurface reservoirs, and the color spectrum implied mineral chemistry, not standard for solar system comets. It was not a fragile snowball. It was a hardened, layered traveler forged under alien skis. But nothing shocked the scientific teams more than Maven's ultraviolet maps. Maven detected a hydrogen halo not just large, but enormous. A halo so vast that its radius exceeded tens of thousands of kilometers, stretching farther than what any model predicted for an object at that distance from the sun. A halo of that size can only mean one thing, massive water dissociation. The object was pumping out hydrogen at rates far beyond local comets. The hydrogen production curve was not steady, it pulsed. Every few hours, the halo brightened, expanded, and then slowly thinned, over and over. A cycle, not random, not chaotic, consistent. One Maven spectroscopist wrote a single word in the internal slack thread. Breathing, the high-rise instrument aboard MRO added the next piece of the puzzle. High-rise did not see a point like nucleus. It saw a semicircle, a glowing hemisphere of dust that bent into space with surprising geometric clarity. On the sunward side, the bright arc glowed sharply. On the trailing side, the dust thinned into a translucent haze. This was not the classic comet tail. This looked like a structured dust envelope clinging to a substantial core. And the brightness asymmetry suggested something the teams could not ignore. One hemisphere was far more thermally active than the other. Punch's images only deepened the puzzle. They revealed a faint sideways tail, not pointing directly away from the sun, as comet physics dictates, but angled, almost defying solar wind direction. Either the solar wind was distorted by local plasma turbulence, or 3 I Atlas was generating thrust-like asymmetry from deep vents beneath its crust. Not propulsion, but controlled venting consistent enough to produce measurable non-gravitational acceleration. Then Psyche delivered the breakthrough. As Psyche tracked the object's position across the starfield, its navigation sensors recorded tiny, undeniable trajectory deviations. Not noise, not error, real deviations. The same kind of deviations detected in Aumuamua, but this time, caught early, recorded cleanly across multiple passes and aligned with the dust asymmetry and tail shifts. Combined, this meant the object was not simply drifting through space. It was reacting to heating, venting in patterns, accelerating slightly under its own outgassing, like a world with internal pockets of pressurized material releasing in cycles. The spheric spacecraft then revealed the thermal truth. The core emitted a heat signature too high for its distance from the sun. Even with a dark, sunlight-absorbing surface, the numbers did not match. Something inside was warm, warmer than a frozen comet had any right to be. Maybe radioactive decay, maybe deep-trapped volatiles, maybe exotic ice chemistry from its parent star. Lucy's observations showed the brightness of the object remained stable at different angles. This meant the dust grains were unusually uniform or coated in something reflective, not random dust, but dust shaped by processes we do not yet understand. Soho saw barely anything in visible wavelengths, while infrared instruments lit up with strong emissions. This suggested grains or ices unfamiliar to the solar system. And then James Webb delivered the final blow. Chemical absorption bands that did not match any comet in any catalog. Exotic ices. Complex organics. Possible ammonia hydrates. Carbon chains far longer than typical solar system molecules. Minerals predicted in exoplanet atmospheres but never before detected in a comet here. One web scientist typed a simple sentence into a private encrypted chat. We're not prepared for this. The more NASA examined, the more the gallery resembled a mosaic of contradictions. Each one true, each one recorded by a different mission, each one rewriting what we thought possible. Hubble's teardrop cocoon, symmetric and eerie. Maven's pulsating hydrogen halo. MRO's structured dust semicircle. Punch's sideways tail. Psyche's trajectory drift. Spherix's thermal core. Lucy's brightness consistency. Webb's chemical fingerprints. It was no longer a comet. No longer a simple interstellar wanderer. No longer an object we could categorize. The object was a messenger, carrying geological memory from another star system. 
a relic of processes unfamiliar to us, shaped by physics that unfolded under a distant sun, in a world long gone, in an environment scarred by cosmic radiation and interstellar winds. And now, drifting through our solar system, it was shedding those secrets one layer at a time. This is why NASA mobilized 15 missions. This is why the gallery matters. This is why silence fills the gaps between official statements. 3. I Atlas is not what we expected. It is not what we prepared for. It is something older, stranger, deeper. A fragment of an ancient world forged in a star system we will never see, carrying chemistry that predates human civilization, wrapped in a shell that endured the void between stars. And as it continues its silent arc around the sun, every new image, every new measurement, every new piece of data is a reminder. The universe is not finished surprising us. Not now, not ever, and for the first time in a long time, humanity is watching an interstellar visitor not as a curiosity, but as a teacher. A teacher from another world. A traveler older than our species. A messenger that demands we look beyond our models, beyond our comfort, beyond what we think we know about the cosmos. 3 I Atlas is not just a comet. It is a story written in ice, dust, minerals, and light. A story that survived millions of years across impossible distances. A story now unfolding before our eyes. What does it reveal next? That answer waits in the images NASA has not yet released, and in the data humanity is only beginning to understand. What do you see in the unknown?